Python hardware time. Okay, this week we're going to focus a lot on MicroPython, but first, a little bit of a note. There's this programming um, language index that comes out all the time, and it shows the usage of all the different languages, and Python kind of went up to the top, probably because of machine learning and data sciences and all that, but also this is for embedded use. microcontrollers. It, it's, for, it's for a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, so Python's up there, so sometimes folks are like, well, where do I know, which language should I think about? And this is ones that are used um, the most, and probably uh, will continue to be like this for a while. So if you learn Python, not only do you probably have a marketable skill, but you're also able to do things like hardware now. So consider it. Um, I'm going to get into some of the MicroPython news soon. We have a roundup of what happened over at PyCon. Mm. Um, a lot of hardware projects. We're still wrapping up some stuff from uh, May the 4th Be With You, oh, May Star 4th. Star Wars project, yeah. Yeah, and then just a lot of interesting stuff. Um, while the iPad is now, re uh, sorry, the iPod is now retired, you can kind of make things like, this is a password keeper, um, hmm. but you can still make interfaces. If you like the look and feel of something like in the old school iPod, you can. And then congratulations to Solder Party. They released some new hardware. This Ooh. runs Circuit Python. And then I just wanted to mention, you know, with MicroPython, there's new cool stuff going on all the time. There's a RISC V build that's going on. Uh. We celebrated MicroPython's birthday last week. Happy nine years old. Oh. And this was one of the cool things that you can do with the code, the visualization. Um, we did a chip shortage about the ST chips for last week. Um, but the, I have some bad news, though. Uh-oh. Here's the bad news. So we're like, hey, Adafruit's a sponsor. Organizations can sponsor. Did we sponsor them? We sponsored, and we wanted to sponsor just to get it almost over to the edge. So we're okay. doing like 500 bucks or so a month, um, and we also have donated directly, and we're also going to do other sponsorships with MicroPython. But I was like, hey, 84 of us are now sponsoring. Surely, because of nine years... If we get like 16 people to donate a couple We just need a couple bucks, people. So, so, get them to the goal. so the bad news is... Nothing's changed in a week. No, no. one else no. has has sponsored. So you need to go to github.com slash micropython. Don't buy stuff from Adafruit tonight. Just do that. Yeah. Remember. I am once again asking for your financial support. That's Damien. <laughs> no, it's not. So the, the reason for this is if you're an open source maintainer, contributor, creator, and you have a goal and you don't hit it, you might decide not to do that again. Or other people might see that and they say, I'm not going to do it because I couldn't even get a small number of people together. So please, 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 please. please, I, please, think, please. I think we're the biggest sponsor right now. Um, but maybe um, we can just get a bunch of small sponsors out there and just let's get to 100%. So github.com slash micropython. If you work at a company and you're using micropython, and you probably are, um, you know, I don't think we have competitors. I'll call them like, whatever they are, like there, there are other companies that are in our exact business um, who, you know, they'll base their designs off our hardware, which we like, it's open source hardware. They also do a lot around MicroPython and CircuitPython. Please, please, please consider- Support them. It, you, you have your repos on GitHub. You can sponsor as an organization now. Especially, please, please, please. Especially because there's a chip shortage and so there are no Pi boards available right now because yeah. the uh, ST chip is unavailable. So, They're trying to get more, uh, but it's, it's harder for them to get um, uh, income. Sponsor them. I'll say this. Even if you just do like a dollar a month, just like let's just get it more than 84 because it's a little, it's a bit of a bummer that we did this push last week and we were the last one to do it. So anyways, um, I got to use this graphic. I don't mind. Be, yeah. There's 84 people dancing on the, um, <laughs> the dance floor. Yeah. Don't you want to join us? We're having a good time. Yeah. That's uh, Python 100 News this week. That's some good guilt.